Have you ever watched a movie or read a book and felt like it was missing something important? And even worse, that people might feel that way about your story. Well, chances are that missing piece has to do with something we call the B story or the theme. And in this lesson, we're going to break down what the theme is, how it relates to your plot and your pro tag, and how to harness it to turn your story into a heavy hitting, heart wrenching masterpiece. This video is a lesson from a full free mega course on our website. If you're ready to supercharge your storytelling, click the link in the description and start your journey today. This video is also part of a series, so if you haven't watched the previous videos, there are links down below. In the last lesson, we explained how the A story and the plot are basically two ways of saying the same thing. Is that the same for the B story and the theme? Not quite. Similar to how the need and flaw are two different ways of describing the same idea, the B story and theme are two different ways of describing the idea of the internal aspect of your story. But the B story describes the actual moments in your story, whereas the theme describes what those moments are trying to express. To understand, let's revisit our favorite ogre, Shrek. The B story describes actual moments in the story, like when Shrek talks to Donkey about how ogres are like onions, or when the two have a heart to heart under the stars, or when Donkey confronts Shrek in his swamp for being a bad friend. These are all moments we can point to that are part of the B story. But the theme is about what all those moments are expressing. As we covered in a previous lesson, this is Shrek learning that even though he sees himself as a hideous ogre, that doesn't mean he is undeserving or incapable of receiving love. So to put it another way, the B story describes the actual moments in the story, while the theme is what the B story is about. Another way to describe the theme is as the lesson the story is trying to teach, or the moral of the story. So when people talk about these, they are talking about the theme. A few themes we mentioned in the first lesson of this mini course are there's no place like home, love yourself, and don't play God and resurrect the dinosaurs. So how does the theme relate to your plot? To re-emphasize something we've said a lot, the plot is the external part of your story, while the theme is the internal part of your story. The plot is what the story is about, while the theme is what the story is really about. The lesson or the moral of the story, and most importantly, it is the meaning of your plot the heart of your story. Without a plot, your story will be boring. But without a theme, your story will be meaningless. Next, how does the theme relate to your pro tag? In the last mini course, we broke down the four pro tag pieces, which are the want, the goal, the need, and the epiphany. In the last lesson, we explained how the want and the goal are related to the plot. Well, the other two parts, the need and the epiphany, are related to the theme. We just talked about how the B story describes actual moments in your story. And the epiphany is the most important of those moments. And the need is a way of describing the lesson your pro tag learned. Well, that lesson is also known as the theme. So if the need is self-acceptance, it's likely that the theme is also about self-acceptance. By the way, there is no one way to describe a theme. Where the plot is physical and easily described, the theme is psychological and open to interpretation. To bring back Little Red Riding Hood, the story is literally about a girl going to visit her grandmother and meeting a wolf. But nothing in the story is literally about being wary around strangers. That's a projection we put on the story, the interpretation we take from it. So where someone might say the theme is be wary around strangers, another might say exert caution or be careful in unfamiliar situations. And no one answer is correct, which is why the theme is so difficult to name. But if you know any interesting stories with especially interesting themes, let us know in the comments. So how can you harness the power of the theme in your story? Well, the easiest way is with a powerful epiphany. In the last mini course, we talked all about the epiphany and how it's the moment your pro tag realizes their need. Well, the clarity and memorability of your epiphany will determine the power of your theme. If your pro tag's epiphany is an earth shaking revelation, you can bet it'll supercharge your story and the impact it has on your audience. Finally, the theme is all about change. When your pro tag overcomes their flaw and embraces their need, they're undergoing an internal change. And in the next lesson, we're going to dive deep into this idea of change as we talk about character arcs. But if you want to really get to the heart of the theme, the extended version of this lesson will cover why the theme exists, how to weave it seamlessly into your story, and our secret formula to supercharging your theme, as well as an in-depth breakdown of the theme in one of the most highly acclaimed movies of all time, the 1942 classic Casablanca. See you there.